everybody, welcome to a Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Hit the bell icon because that will alert you when I post a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really adorable glass bowl Easter Bunny. You only need a couple of things to make him and most of them you probably already have. So first thing you're going to need are the glass bowls. These are from the Dollar Tree. There is a bigger one and a smaller one. And you can double check that they fit together just like I have them. I have them um, open end to open end, so check that in the store before you buy. Then I got a pair of bunny rabbit ears. Those ones are from Target. Those were only a dollar as well. I used some scrap vinyl for the face and nose, white glitter, and polycrylic. And the last thing that you need is some hot milk glue to put the ears on. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to put the glitter in your bowls. Now that I've coated the entire inside of the globe, we're going to let it drain for just a few minutes. That helps the polycrylic drain out any of the extra and also helps it dry up just a little bit. First thing that you're going to do to glitter these is take just a little bit of polycrylic. I usually use just a little syringe and I do typically about two shots. This is just a milliliter syringe that you can get pretty much anywhere, but um, I got these ones off Amazon. I got a huge package of them for, I don't know, 10 or $12. And then you take your poly polycrylic, and just like you do when you've done um, the uh, snowman, we did a snowman globe one, and we also did, and this actually is gonna take a little bit more because this is a bigger globe. Um, you've done the snowman globe or your Christmas ornaments, you just, swirl it around inside and this one's going to take quite a bit. I didn't account for the fact that this is a way bigger globe than what I did with the snowman. So you want to make sure that you coat your globe. Not so much all of this bottom part because you're really not going to see that but as you can see all I'm doing is letting the polycrylic and I hopefully you guys can see it just slowly swirling it around the inside to make sure that I coat the whole thing. Now if you put too much polycrylic in it's no big deal because we'll drain it out into the jar of polycrylic and you can usually get um, an entire jar for about ten dollars uh, it lasts a while I've had this one probably almost a year and a half now and I've done lots and lots of ornaments lots and lots of dome things these little um, fish bowls I've done lots of stuff like this but I won't make you guys watch me swirl it but um, you'll just keep swirling and this is going to take a minute, so don't think that you can just be done with this pretty quickly. The swirling part does tend to take some time. So once we get done swirling, I'll show you how to add the glitter. I've let this drain, so what I'm going to do is just take some glitter. This is just glitter I got at, I think, AC Moore. Now, I don't put a ton in to start. I just put a little bit because I'm not a glitter waster. I'm, like, very stingy with my glitter. I don't like to waste. So I just take it, and just like, again, with the Christmas bulbs, you just shake it around. Now that clearly, definitely not enough glitter. But again, I like to make sure that I don't put too much glitter in to start just because I don't want to waste any glitter. So again, you just take it and roll it just like you did with the polycrylic. Now, on the bonus to this is because we're doing two of these, what you can do is take this, get this one all covered in glitter, and then put just keep the glitter in the bottom of your jar and when you're ready to do your second bowl, because we are going to have to do two bowls, one for his body and one for his head, you will take the rest of this glitter that you stuck into this bowl and shake it out. Or you can put it on this piece of paper and dump it right back into him, into your glitter tub. So I'm going to do that where I'm going to just dump it out because i got to make sure that I get all around the edge. So you want to make sure you're getting the edge. And this is kind of like a holographic look to it. It's almost like rainbow white glitter. It's really pretty. I really like this glitter. So I'm just going to tap it a little bit just to get any of the loose stuff off. And there is our first jar all done. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. And when we come back, we can get ready to put his ears on and his face. I cut a little bunny face out of some vinyl and layered the little pink heart for his nose or her nose. And then all I'm going to do is flip my transfer tape over. I already transfer taped it and I'm going to remove my vinyl from the backing and I do this by actually flipping it over and taking the backing off. 
Now, I don't have my squeegee with me. Everything, of course, all my tools are in the car, but proof that you can do this without too many tools. So then all we're gonna do is place our face, and I left it put together so that I could get a better idea of where I wanted the face to go. So I think that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do first is press her eyes down, and then I'm gonna press her nose down and her mouth. The reason I do this is because it's curved surface. So we're gonna end up with kind of a funky curve going on for her um, whiskers. So what I do is I will peel this back a little bit so that it's no longer stuck to her eyes or her nose for the most part. And then you lay your whiskers down. That way it's not stuck all the way at the top and you should get a better you're only going to do one side of the whiskers at a time. So start with one side. So we're going to do this side first. You're just going to press it down. I did forget to mention, I did pre-wipe um, this down with rubbing alcohol. And then you're just going to do the other side of your whiskers. This is just a quick trick I use when I'm doing a curved surface. And you just peel it up off of... There, so now we have our little bunny. Now I know she's sitting kind of funny because I had to move her, but there's that part. The next thing we're gonna do is tear apart our ears. So let me get you guys moved over so we can do that. So what I've done is I took my scissors and I'm just cutting a slit into the fur that's around the headband. Now this I did get at the Dollar Tree, in case I didn't mention it already, this is, or not the Dollar Tree, this one's from the Target Dollar Spot. I like these ears just a little bit better than those other ones. So. What I've done is I've pulled off this extra fur and you can see that it's all come off. And the reason I did that is because I really wanted to see how my ears are attached to my headband piece. So you want to just kind of pull it up and just see because it's see how this one is touched with plastic. So we'll need to cut the plastic because these ones do have a bit of plastic on them. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to peel back our fur and I hope you guys can see what I'm doing, I really do. It's not always the easiest and I'm gonna slide my scissors in here and I'm just gonna see if hopefully these scissors should cut, they're pretty sharp. And I'm just gonna try to wiggle off the plastic and I might need to get something a little sharper but we'll see if we can do it without too much fuss. I wanna keep the fur on the bottom so don't cut the fur off because we're gonna use that to kind of cover up some of the um, mess that we have to make here with the bottom of these ears. So I got one part. You're going to need to trim the fabric off of these ones. Now the Dollar Tree ones might be a little bit different. I don't know how those ones are put together. I just don't like those ones. I don't like the look of them. They're just not my thing. So they're not my jam. So we're going to just trim the fur off here because there's a little bit of fur on the back. And now that we got one side of the ear, we'll be able to come over and cut the other side. Now I will say the base of these ears is really thick which is where I was trying to cut on the other ear. So I'm gonna to try to keep everything pretty well attached to itself, like to each other right now. I don't wanna pull them all apart yet. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on this ear. It's really hard to show you guys what I'm doing, but you're just gonna detach the ears. You're just gonna really carefully trim them off. So like this guy, he's still pretty well stuck on here with some glue. So, and I'm also trying to do this at kind of an awkward angle so you guys can see it, so it's not exactly the easiest thing to do but there is a little piece of plastic right up here and you can see how easy that cuts once you get to the less thick part and so then I'm going to do that to the other side here I'm going to try to find the less thick part while not cutting through the, the plastic or the fur okay I think we're pretty almost detached there we go we are detached so now what we have are two sets of well a set of ears no headband. You don't need the headband part. We just need the ears. So I'm going to bring my bunny rabbit back over. Hopefully you guys can see her. And we're just going to kind of look and figure out, like, do we want to keep some of the fur on her ear? Do we want her to look like she's wearing, like, a little hat? Do we want to, like, roll the fur around it and give her, like, a fluffy head? I'm not liking that. Sometimes with the crafts, it's just a matter of kind of figuring out what you like and what you don't. So I didn't like that, so I'm just gonna trim off these extra pieces of fabric because we're not going to use them. There's no need for them. Don't like them. And you guys don't have to do your bunny exactly the same way. You can use your Dollar Tree ears, you can 
use ears you've had. You can make ears out of cardstock. So what I'm going to do now is just sort of figure out about where her ears should go. And I just need to dust the fur off of there. So we're just going to get an idea of where we want to place her ears. And i got to turn her this way, guys. Sorry. I can't see from the angle that I have her. We could do full straight up. We could do straight to the sides. But I think we'll do them a little bit on the side, just like that. So what I'm going to do is take my hot milk glue gun, which hopefully is hot. And the first thing I'm going to do is fold the fabric so that it's like a full covered piece now. So just take a little bit of hot milk glue. I'm going to fold that one over. That's the back piece. And then I'm going to take the piece from the front and I'm going to put a little glue on it. And then I'm just going to fold it over this way and try not to get my finger on any hot milk glue. And I'm doing that so that it makes a nice closed piece and so that we don't have weird flaps of fabric. So we'll do that to both ears. Let me set this one to the side. So we'll do the same thing with this one. We'll take the back, a little bit of glue, fold it over, and then we'll take the front and we'll do glue. And then we will fold it over. Again, that's just so that we don't have those weird flaps when we do this. So let me let these cool off and then we'll attach them to the bunny. Wait for the ears to cool down a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is just put glue right here on this little curvature that we kind of made with the fur. And I do want to put a, a decent amount on because that's what's going to go on her head. So we're going to just hold that down. Um, if you want, you can take the bunny off the, like the bunny head part off the base before you put her ears on so she doesn't slide around. Um, I'm not doing that just because it sits too shallow and it's hard for you guys to see. So you want to make sure you're holding on to your ear until your glue is nice and dry. This part is probably the most boring part of this craft, but I really love doing these. And then you can adjust your ear. Um, if you needed to put a little bit of glue back here to maybe hold it back, because if this one might need a little bit, it's kind of wobbly on the front. And we'll do the same thing for this one. We'll just do all bunch of glue. Like I said, I am a fan of the hot milk glue. It is a lifesaver. So like I said, I do want to put a lot of bit, a lot of glue on here, just because of, I want it to really hold. So then I'm going to line that guy up with the other ear. I'm going to do the same thing. We're just going to hold it on there until the glue is nice and dry. Or cool in this case. I guess it doesn't really dry so much as it cools down. This craft is so fun. You guys could do this with your kids because you can always cut the ears out of cardstock. Um, and you can let the kids paint the bunny if you wanted to. If you didn't want a glitter bunny, um, you could easily get some like glass paint and let them paint their bunny. You could let them decorate their own bunny face. These are really a fun craft to do. And you could do this with plastic as well. Um, it does not have to be glass. It's just what I found at the Dollar Tree. So again, we have a larger Dollar Tree globe and then a smaller um, originally I did say to do it um, when I was showing you the glitter part. I did show you it with both big ones. I didn't like it once I put it together. Happens sometimes, so we'll use the other one for something else. But now we have this adorable bunny, and I will reposition you guys so you can see her better. Here is our finished bunny. Now the best thing with this is you can absolutely add a bow or flowers or anything that you would like to add to your bunny. Let me grab some ribbon really quick here. I am not a bow maker. Bows are not my thing. Never been good at them. Someone please, for the love of God, teach me how to make a bow. Because it's just not a skill I possess. But I'll give you guys a quick just idea. Not that I can make this a bow, but let me try here. But yeah, you guys can do a lot with these. Um, you can really honestly decorate them. You could add some fluff if you wanted to. Um, I'm trying to think what else you can have, but you can add a lot of stuff to these. Um, you can do, like I said, paper flowers would be really cute if you want to make like a paper flower crown. My bow making skills are lacking, but this is kind of what I was picturing. If I could ever make a bow, you could easily add a little bow with slightly shorter tails. But you can see, like, this would be really cute with a bow on her. But there's lots of options that you guys could do to personalize these. So don't just stop here. Keep, keep making it how you want it, and you guys will be super, like, you can be so creative with this. Now, I bumped her ear, and you can see it's kind of flopping a little. I'll fix that with some hot milk glue. Now, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Hit the bell icon, because that will alert you to when I post a new video. 
If you guys think of any other cool Easter crafts you want to see me do, let me know in the comments down below. I make these tutorials because you guys ask for them. Have a great day and happy crafting!